Alain Delon, the epitome of French cool, had a turbulent beginning. His early life was a far cry from the glamorous world he would later inhabit. Born in Sceaux, France on November 8, 1935, his childhood was marked by instability. The picturesque town of Sceaux, with its serene landscapes and quaint streets, was a stark contrast to the chaos that would soon envelop his young life. His parents' marriage crumbled when he was just four. This early fracture in his family unit left a lasting impact on him, shaping his views on relationships and trust. This event cast a long shadow over his formative years. The young Alain often found himself lost in thought, staring out windows, pondering the complexities of life at an age when most children are carefree. Delon was shuffled between boarding schools and foster homes. Each move was a jarring experience, stripping away any sense of stability he might have had. This constant upheaval fostered a sense of restlessness and rebellion in the young boy. He became adept at adapting to new environments, but this adaptability came with a price. He often found himself at odds with authority. Teachers, guardians, and even peers became figures of contention in his life. Delon's teenage years were no less tumultuous. The rebellious streak that had begun in his childhood only intensified as he grew older. He was expelled from several schools. Each expulsion was a blow to his already fragile sense of self-worth, but it also fueled his desire to break free from societal constraints. His rebellious nature made traditional education a poor fit. The rigid structures of the classroom clashed with his free-spirited nature. He longed for a different path, something more exciting. The mundane routines of school life were suffocating for someone with his restless spirit. At the age of 14, he even briefly worked in his stepfather's butcher shop. The experience was a stark reminder of the life he did not want. This experience, though brief, gave him a glimpse into the realities of working-class life. The long hours and physical labor were a far cry from the excitement he craved. However, fate had other plans for the handsome and brooding young man. His striking looks and intense gaze hinted at a future far removed from the butcher shop. Delon's life took an unexpected turn when he joined the French Navy at 17. The decision was driven by a desire for adventure and a need to escape his tumultuous past. He was drawn to the adventure and discipline it promised. The Navy offered a structured environment, something he had lacked throughout his childhood. His service took him to the battlefields of Indochina. The harsh realities of war were a far cry from the romanticized notions of adventure he had harbored. This experience, though brutal, instilled in him a sense of resilience and discipline. The camaraderie and hardships of military life forged a new sense of purpose in him. It also exposed him to a world vastly different from his own. The exotic landscapes and diverse cultures of Indochina broadened his horizons and deepened his understanding of the world. This experience would later influence his acting, lending an air of authenticity to his portrayals of soldiers and outsiders. The intensity and realism he brought to his roles were a direct result of his time in the Navy. After four years, Delon returned to France in 1956. The young man who left for the Navy was not the same one who returned. He was a changed man, the experiences of war and the discipline of military life had left an indelible mark on him. The war had hardened him, but it had also given him a new perspective on life. He now viewed the world through a lens of resilience and determination. He was no longer the rebellious youth he once was. The trials and tribulations of his early years had forged a new, more determined individual. He was now a man of the world, ready to forge his own path. The experiences of his youth had prepared him for the challenges ahead. Little did he know his life was about to take another dramatic turn, one that would lead him to the dazzling lights of cinema. The stage was set for Alain Delon to become a legend, but that is a story for another time. Back in civilian life, Delon drifted through various jobs in Paris. The bustling city, with its vibrant streets and endless opportunities, became the backdrop of his early struggles. Each day was a new challenge, a new chance to find his place in the world. He worked as a waiter, serving coffee and croissants to the morning rush, always with a polite smile and a courteous nod. The clinking of cups and the hum of conversations became the soundtrack of his days. He also took on the role of a porter, carrying heavy luggage for travelers at bustling train stations. His strong arms and determined spirit never faltering, the constant movement and the stories of the people he met added color to his otherwise monochrome life. And even a sales assistant where he learned the art of persuasion and the importance of a well-timed smile. 
Each job was a stepping stone, a way to make ends meet while he searched for his true calling. The variety of roles he undertook gave him a unique perspective on life and people. His striking looks, a blend of classic handsomeness and brooding intensity, often drew attention. His chiseled features and piercing eyes seemed to tell a story of their own, one of mystery and depth. This proved to be a turning point. It was as if the universe had a plan for him, one that was slowly unfolding with each passing day. During this time, DeLong crossed paths with people from the film industry. These encounters were not mere coincidences, but rather moments of destiny, guiding him towards his true path. They were immediately captivated by his smoldering good looks and raw charisma. His presence was magnetic, drawing people in and leaving a lasting impression. They saw in him the potential for stardom. His natural charm and enigmatic aura made him stand out in a crowd, a rare quality that the film industry eagerly sought. Encouraged by their belief in him, Delon decided to try his luck in the world of acting. The idea of becoming an actor, of telling stories through his performances, ignited a fire within him. He began attending auditions, his heart set on conquering the silver screen. Each audition was a test of his resolve, a step closer to his dream. His big break came in 1957 when he was discovered by a talent scout at the Cannes Film Festival. The festival, a hub of creativity and talent, became the stage for his serendipitous discovery. This chance encounter changed the course of his life. It was a moment of serendipity where fate and opportunity collided, setting him on a path to greatness. He was soon offered his first film role, a small part in When a Woman Gets Involved in 1957. This role, though minor, was the beginning of his journey in the world of cinema. This marked the beginning of his acting career. Each role he took on was a new challenge, a new opportunity to prove his talent and dedication. More roles followed, each one allowing Delon to hone his craft. He immersed himself in his characters, bringing them to life with his intense performances. He quickly gained recognition for his natural talent and undeniable screen presence. Critics and audiences alike were captivated by his ability to convey deep emotions with subtle gestures. His performances were raw, intense, and captivating. He had a unique ability to draw viewers into the story, making them feel every emotion his character experienced. He had a unique ability to convey a wide range of emotions with a mere glance. His eyes, often described as windows to his soul, spoke volumes without uttering a single word. This raw talent, combined with his undeniable charisma, quickly made him a favorite among directors and audiences alike. His journey from the streets of Paris to the silver screen was a testament to his resilience and unwavering determination. The late 1950s and early 1960s witnessed Delon's meteoric rise in the film industry. During this transformative period, the film industry itself was undergoing significant changes, with new styles and narratives emerging that captivated audiences around the world. Delon transitioned from supporting roles to leading man status with remarkable speed. His ability to adapt and evolve as an actor was evident from the very beginning, showcasing a talent that was both raw and refined. His breakthrough role came in 1960 with Purple Noon, an adaptation of Patricia Highsmith's novel, The Talented Mr. Ripley. This film was a turning point, not just for DeLong, but for the genre of psychological thrillers, setting a new standard for storytelling and character development. DeLong's portrayal of Tom Ripley, a charming yet chilling con artist, captivated audiences worldwide. His performance was a masterclass in embodying a character that was both alluring and terrifying leaving viewers on the edge of their seats. His performance in Purple Noon cemented his status as a rising star. Critics and audiences alike were mesmerized by his ability to bring such a complex character to life with such ease and authenticity. He became a symbol of youthful rebellion and dangerous charm. Delon's on-screen presence was magnetic, drawing viewers into the world of his characters and making them feel every emotion, every conflict. His face, plastered on movie posters across Europe, became synonymous with a new wave of French cinema. This era was marked by a shift towards more personal and introspective storytelling. And Delon was at the forefront of this movement. He was the epitome of cool, the epitome of chic. Delon's style, both on and off the screen, influenced fashion trends and became a benchmark for elegance and sophistication. Delon's success continued with films like Rocco and His Brothers in 1960 and The Leopard in 1963. 
These films not only solidified his status as a leading man, but also showcased his range as an actor. These films showcased his versatility as an actor, allowing him to tackle complex characters with nuance and depth. Delon's ability to convey a wide range of emotions made him a favorite among directors and audiences alike. He effortlessly moved from playing a boxer caught in a family feud to an aristocratic prince grappling with societal changes. This ability to seamlessly transition between vastly different roles highlighted his exceptional talent and dedication to his craft. His performances resonated deeply with audiences. They were drawn to the authenticity and intensity he brought to each role, making them feel connected to the characters he portrayed. They saw in him a reflection of their own desires, their own struggles. Delon's characters often embodied the complexities of the human experience, making his films relatable and impactful. He became a cultural icon, a symbol of a generation coming of age in a rapidly changing world. His films captured the spirit of the times, resonating with audiences who were navigating their own journeys of self-discovery and change. His star continued to rise, shining brighter with each passing film. Delon's career trajectory was a testament to his talent, hard work, and the deep connection he forged with his audience. His name became synonymous with French cinema itself. Delon's influence extended beyond the screen, shaping the very fabric of the film industry in France and inspiring countless actors and filmmakers. He was, in many ways, the face of a nation. Delon's legacy is one of enduring impact, a testament to his remarkable